Hi guys! Welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam and today we are going to be starting an 8 week bullet journal challenge. So let's get started. Okay, so this bullet journal challenge is actually called self-care, but today we are going to be talking about personal care. So personal care is week one's title. So I'm going to make a list of things that I can do for my personal care, obstacles that get in the way of my personal care, and then a routine. So I want to take more baths. I really like taking baths, but I don't take them very often. I do yoga every day, but I added it to my list of personal care because it's something that I do do for my personal care. Um, it's getting warmer outside, so I would like to go for more walks outside of work. I haven't been getting much walking done at work. And then I want to paint my nails because I need to stop biting them and sometimes that helps me stop biting them. And then I added deep breathing on there as well. Now for my obstacles, I wrote laziness, depression and anxiety, and anger. Um, depression and anxiety is something that I have dealt with for a really long time and uh, it, sometimes it still gets out of control, so I'm hoping that by doing this personal care regimen that I can help get it un more under control. I like to start my journal pages in pencil first. In case I make a mistake, I can go back through and erase it and re-situate it and make it fit the way that I want to. So here on this page, I am making my routine. I'm doing a morning routine, an after work or afternoon routine, and then a before bed routine. And at the bottom of the page, I will be making a mini tracker, mini habit tracker for all of the things I put in my number one column. Uh, so like my yoga, my going for walks, painting my nails and taking baths is everything that I put in this one. I'm going to add bulletjournal.com down in the description below because they're actually where I got this challenge from. So if you would like to go check it out yourself, go ahead in the description and click the link and it should take you straight to it. I didn't like how this weekly layout spread looked so I went back through and I changed a couple of things. Um, this is actually my first weekly spread that I've ever done so it's kind of boring and plain but uh, I think it turned out nicely so so I added individual boxes instead of just the straight lines across and then next to it I added my a box for my yoga that I do every day so that I can write how many minutes I've done Next to the yoga box, I add a space for the stickers that I created for my steps. Um, I actually have a video on that, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the card so you can click that and check that out. And then on the side, I just write a to-do list for things that I need to do that week and then a shopping list if I need to pick anything up from the store. Now, my camera got a little fuzzy here, I'm sorry. Um, it should focus in a minute, um, but I'm just going through and outlining all of the boxes that I've created and then I'll go back through and add a drop shadow for each one. Personal care for me is really important because I do suffer with depression and anxiety and I have for a really long time. Um, yoga has helped with that, but it doesn't prevent depression and anxiety though. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're working with personal care. That's It sort of comes up whenever it feels like it, but having the tools to be able to handle it really helps. So that's why I think it's important to be doing this challenge right now. Because you can sit down and you can like make a list of all the tools that you can use to help whenever you're feeling depressed or if you're feeling anxious. If you have a list of tools that you can pull out of your toolbox to help uh, sort of get it under control, I feel like that's really helpful. 
here I'm just adding in the little foot stickers for my steps and then I'm gonna go through and outline my routine and I wrote week one under here because this is an eight week challenge so when I come back and do my other weeks I'll outline those as well so my morning routine I log my sleep I do my Bing reward searches I'll do yoga and then eat breakfast and then after work I put on comfy clothes, eat some lunch because I usually don't eat throughout the day, and then I'll pick a day and I will paint my nails since that is one of the things on my list. And then before bed, I will take a bath, meditate, brush my hair and teeth, and wash my face. Now the things that I added to my mini habit tracker were the yoga, going for walks, um, taking a bath, and painting my nails. And the little rhombus shape things that I put on there were to track how many times I did that. I also added a rewards bo box on the bottom so that I could reward myself when I do these tasks. It's important to reward yourself when you complete a list of your tasks so that you can train your brain to continue doing tasks like this. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to see next week's video as well. You'll get a little notification when I upload that. If you yourself um, created a routine and did this along with me, go ahead and tag me on Instagram at Midnight Mind. It's Midnight period underscore period mind. Uh, tag me and let me see your recreations of this. Thanks guys. Have a good day.